Hello and welcome to the graphing tutorial for the phase change graphing exercise. What I would like you to do is you've got your Google Doc open here and your table. We're going to grab the entire table by just copying Control C or you can right click copy. Your finished version will be something like this, but you're going to go to your Google Drive. I'm just going to hit new and I'm going to do a Google Sheet. I'm going to give it a title, Phase Change Graphing Exercise. I'm going to paste into here, Control V is pasting it into here. I don't need this extra one, so I'm just going to go delete that row. Highlight the entire table. Before we start, it is always a good idea to have your independent variable first. Just makes life a little bit easier when graphing. So the temperature of these two substances, A and B, is dependent on this independent variable, which is time. Again, I've highlighted. You don't need to highlight this title. And I'm going to insert a chart. The first thing you do when you insert a chart is in the setup, I'm going to have to choose what type of chart I want. In this situation, we want a line chart, but sometimes you'll use uh, scatter charts. So you can go to different types of lines, area charts, pie graphs, so on and so forth. But this, in this situation, we're going to go with a line chart and we'll grab this one. Now from here, I can move this over and if I want, I can make it a little bit bigger. The first thing you're going to notice is that this probably isn't a good title. I'm going to go to Customize, and I'm going to go to Chart, Axes, and Titles, and I'm going to call this the Heating Curves of Substances A and So there's a good title. So under chart axis title, then you have to choose chart title. Now we're going to notice that uh, our X axis has time in minutes, but our Y axis has no label. So what we're going to do from there is we're going to choose our vertical axis title, which is our Y axis. And in here, we're going to type temperature and it should be bracket C degrees. But the problem is we cannot copy this. So you have to go back to this guy and you have to copy that. And the way I got that in the first place was by going insert special character and then you type in degree and then I can double click on that. And then it would have went into my Google Doc. So that's how I got it. But since you already have it here, I can go control C and I can go back to, and then I can cr go control V because it's the issue of getting that uh, superscript in here. So now I have that. Now the other thing is it doesn't plot our points on here. So we would like to see our points. So I'm going to close this one up. And I'm going to go down to series and I'm going to go to point size and you can try two pixels and you can, so you can see them here. They're a little bit small or the next one you can try seven pixels. So I think I'll stick there. My line thickness is two. That's probably fine. And my point shape, you can set them at whatever you would like. So you can make them triangles. Um, at seven pixels, that looks fine, or I can go with a circle. The other thing I just noticed here is that my title is not centered. So for that, I'd have to go back to here and I go for my chart title and then I change that to centered. Now, what I need to do is phase change graphing. I need to insert that graph in here. So I've chosen a spot on my Google Doc, and I'm going to go Insert, Chart, and I'm going to go From Sheets, and I'm going to go Phase Change. 
So this is my most recent one. If I have to search it, I can do that. This is my most recent one, and I'm going to hit select, and I want to link it to the spreadsheet. That's a good idea, because if I make any changes, right, then I can, it will just update automatically, and I'm going to import. And there is how you create a line chart in a Google Sheet and import it into a Google Doc. Thanks for watching.